Hello everyone, and welcome to a very special edition of Yay for K. I realized, my dear viewers, that I have never introduced you guys to my own personal assistants, the Elaines. Yes, plural, as in not just one Elaine, not just two Elaines, and no, not just three Elaines, but four whole Elaines at my beck and call at any hour of the day. They're there to help with social media interactions and publicity for the campaign, but what do the Elaines actually do? Well, they're not my minions, as what Izzy likes to call them. The Elaines? Oh yeah, Kay's minions? It's kind of weird. Feels a little exploitative. Uh, anyway, I, I gotta run. Really, Isidore? Exploitative? <sighs> the Elaines are my friends. They're like... My four left hands and my four right hands. Plus, they're the only people willing to volunteer for us right now. So, without any further ado, I introduce you to, drum roll please, the famed Elaines themselves. First up, Elaine Astolat. We've known each other since the ninth grade, and she actually lives right down the street from me, and she was super excited about Mordred's candidacy. Elaine A is very, I'm trying to think of the right word for her, um, very passionate. Elaine A is very passionate. <sighs> What's with the size? I worked so hard on this tweet and it's only gotten like 10 impressions. I don't know how we're going to recover from this. I think the campaign is doomed. Ten impressions for a tweet about Mordred's plan to attend a civic pride parade isn't that bad. I mean, only like 20 people go to the thing anyway. No, no, this, this is terrible. This is awful. I think you should just fire me. I'm sure anyone else can do a better job. <sighs> don't be ridiculous. I can't fire you. You're a volunteer. Oh, God. So I am doing a bad job? Such a bad job that you would fire me even if you were paying me? What? No, I did not say that. So you wouldn't fire me if you were paying me? I mean, okay, I probably would fire you, but that's only because we can't afford to have employees. Oh, oh God, you would fire me! I am just so bad at everything! There, there. No, you're really not. I mean, you're fine. Also, I hate my hair. It's the worst! Do you want to have a salon day? Okay, so Elaine A is a bit dramatic. Okay, she's like really dramatic. But she's a really good worker, and whenever she's not focusing on the impending doom about to befall us all, well, mostly her, she's an amazing worker. And she's really good at making memes for her social media for the campaign. So yeah, let's cut to Gavin to see what his take is on Elaine A. Elaine Astolat? I, I don't know what to say other than probably the nicest person you'll ever meet. Well, there you have it. Next up, Elaine Corbenic. We've known each other since we were cute little babies. We went to preschool together, to the same elementary school together, to the same middle school together, and now the same high school together. And we'll probably go to the same college together. And if we don't, I don't know what I'd do. That would just be too weird. But anyway, I doubt that'll happen because Elaine C is like super smart. As you can see, we have the young vote locked up. The polling numbers indicate that we are ahead by at least 70 percentage points in the 18 to 30 year old age range. The problem with that age range is the GOTV. We need them to show up. If we don't get a good turnout, then those numbers mean nothing. Wait. How the hell did you get polling numbers? This is a school board election. I created my own phone banking operation to take a random selection of the local residents using Vicky's phone banks. Oh. Are you people taking this seriously at all? Elaine C is exactly the kind of person I want on my team. She's super smart, super committed, and super hoping to show up her father by getting the first candidate elected who hasn't had his endorsement in like 20 years. She's my kind of woman, which, now that I think about it, her and Mordred actually have a lot in common. Her father 
Well, he's kind of like a, a political power broker around here. No one runs for office in Camelot and actually wins without his endorsement. Uh, until me. <laughs> but, you know, I've had his daughter's endorsement. I think that's even better. So, it's possible that Elaine C. cares about this more than Mordred and Izzy combined, which is actually kind of frightening. But she knows information that we don't. She knows things that we don't. Plus, she's got mad initiative. Furthermore, there are inroads to be made in the demographic group colloquially known as soccer moms. This group consists primarily of women ages 30 to 49 who have at least one child who attends Camelot. This group shows above average levels of civic engagement and is far more likely to show up on election day than their respective spouses. <laughs> Kay, pay attention! I am! Moreover, I followed up with several of the attendees at Vicky's campaign awareness event, and they are heavily trending in Mordred's favor. In particular, many of the group seem to be influencers in their social circles. In fact, Anna Larkmont was so charmed by Mordred and Vicky that she agreed to do a meet and greet. I mean, these are events that we just... Uh, Kay! Hmm, what? Yeah, I... I love soccer. <sighs> right? Soccer moms. Let's cut to Gavin and see what he says whenever I asked him about it. Elaine Gorbenik? You mean Nicey McNice Nice? I don't think anybody calls her that, but they should because that's how nice she is. And then we have Elaine Gallus. She's like the perfect person. <laughs> Kay only likes her because she's Kay's number one fan. She's seen every episode of Yay for Kay. She even has some of them memorized. She has really amazing taste. What can I say? Gosh, Kay, I am just so grateful to be a part of this amazing opportunity. Aw, that is so sweet of you, and I am honestly so glad that you're one of our volunteers. And honestly, I think Mordred is too. Who? Oh, Mordred Pendragon? Uh, the candidate? Oh, right, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Obviously. Just, just so brave, Liv. Right, so, um, okay. Can you tell me what you thought about the speech you just read? Like, do you think the Camelot Association of Concerned Parents and Intramural Coaches would like it? Um, did you write it? I did, actually. <laughs> wow. Really? Just, just wow. Aww. I mean, it was just like everything. It was so good, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, it just made me feel like, like I, I wish I could vote for Mordred a hundred times. It was so inspiring. Yeah. Mordred must be so grateful to have you to look up to. Oh my gosh, he should be. Gavin agrees with me anyway. Elaine Gallus. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, she's nice. Uh, she loves Kay. Um, there was a third thing I wanted to say about her. Oh, she's, uh, she's super nice. And then we come to Elaine B. Uh, Elaine B is very... competent. Um, I mean, she does everything I ask her to do it within the time frame that's expected. She voluntarily cleans up after us, and she always brings me lattes whenever we meet. Plus, she always knows whenever I want half-calf, full-calf, almond milk, coconut milk, and on those rare occasions, whenever I want half and half. Plus, she knew that I take exactly one and a half packets of Splenda without even asking. She's like the perfect assistant. The only thing is... I don't think I know an Elaine B. Do we know her full last name? I have no clue. Um, yeah, I don't think we know her. I mean, as best as I can tell, she kind of just like appeared and started doing things that needed to be done. Why look a gift horse in the mouth, right? <laughs> What does that expression actually mean? Yeah, um... I actually have no idea where Elaine B came from. 
I may or, or may not have accidentally deleted the Facebook message where she volunteered. And I tried looking her up again on Facebook, but there's a lot of Elaine's out there and I honestly don't know if her last name actually starts with a B. But I mean, she has to go to our school. Definitely, yeah. She has to. Like, I need to text Vera. <laughs> Fine. I don't mind helping. No, like, we have a housekeeper. Oh. Well, I figured since we're having the, you know, campaign team meeting here, things would get a little dirtier than normal. Oh. Here. Oh. Half calf, shot of vanilla, almond milk. Oh. How do you always know what I want? Instinct, I guess. So, Elaine, where are you from? I'm from Camelot, obviously. Right. Um, so, why did you want to join the Mortgage for School Board campaign? Oh, the same as everyone else, I guess. Okay, well, did you like something on the platform? Did you have any friends in the campaign? Um, I suppose all of those things, really. Oh, uh, so the other day I was browsing at Nordstrom's and I saw this adorable Kate Spade bag and then I also saw this amazing Michael Kors bag and I just don't know which one to get. So, which one should I get? The Michael Kors bag is more practical. Mm -hmm. The Kate Spade bag will make you happier. Uh, no, I mean, um, which one would you buy, like, for yourself? <laughs> I don't carry a purse. Do you want me to schedule those pre-written Facebook posts? So, yeah. That's a little weird, I have to admit. But she's so damn good at her job, and she's free. So, I guess we'll just let Gavin have the final say on this. Elaine B., uh, she is just... No, oh, that's not her. I once heard that she was nice.